So what is the back foot doing a proper swing? Squash the bug? No. I made a video of this a few years ago, I think it was, and we talked about what the back foot really does in a swing, in a proper hitting mechanics. And what you'll see in that video, if you haven't watched it yet, go, go watch it now. I'll leave a link or an annotation or something. But what you'll see in that video is one, a pro player taking a swing and he's actually gaining some ground on his back foot. His back foot is coming off the ground moving forward. And you'll see that in a lot of major league hitters. Okay? But I got a question in an email the other day asking how to work on that. That uh, his son wasn't able to make his back foot come forward or get off the ground. And I accidentally put it into my junk box. I don't know where the email went. So if that was you, I'm very sorry. I meant to reply to that. Um, but I'm going to answer it here uh, so you can see it. And how, so how do we work that? How do we work on that? How do we teach what the back foot is supposed to do? We don't. That's it. See you in the video. If you found this video helpful, all right, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do you like that. But we really don't teach what the back foot is supposed to do. All we want the player to do is be able to feel and do everything right up to that point, and then that, the back foot, will happen as an effect, okay? So what you want to work on, or what you want to focus on more than the back foot, is the load and the stride, and just being able to move forward while staying closed, okay? So we're moving forward, Bryce Harper does this. You can look at the Bryce Harper hitting drill that I've got on my page. Um, but as you're staying closed, you're moving forward, okay? So what this does is keeps you closed, closed on the foot, closed on the knee, closed on the hip, closed on the shoulder, as I'm moving forward, okay? Now, if the player can understand that, he's gonna already be gaining some momentum on here. Now you might say, well, if he's moving forward, isn't he gonna finish out in front and that's not gonna be a good swing? Well, yeah, that's a possibility, but the second thing you need to work on is gonna be to stay behind that front leg. So when you hit that front leg, you don't wanna collapse through and have a bent front leg. So if you can work on with your hitters, or if you're a hitter and you're watching this, work on your load and your stride moving forward but staying closed, and then when you do start to open up and swing, use this front leg as leverage. As I swing my hands through, watch my knee here. As I, it's bent right now, but as I swing my hands through, I'm gonna sit down, sit behind it, and it's gonna straighten out. I should have a straight line for my front leg all the way up my body with my head on that contact point as I finish the swing, okay? So if you work on those two things, a good load and a good stride, as well as staying behind that back or that front leg this way, the back foot's gonna happen. And it's gonna be natural, and it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Some guys drag this back foot and catch. Some guys actually are off the ground when they're hitting and catch. Some guys don't even get all the way around. They get here, and they kind of catch it sideways. So if you work on the beginning and staying behind that front leg, the back leg's gonna fix itself. So that's my answer. Hopes it helps. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com.